Take on Mars has been designed with modding in mind from start to finish. Although it may not be obvious at first glance, everything in the game may be replaced, rewritten or built upon. This series of videos will help the Take on Mars modding community get started with creating additional or new content for the game. In this first chapter, we will look at how and where Take on Mars looks for its data and how it can be modified. First off, let's start up the loader and extract the game data to a directory of our choice. This will allow us to see exactly what is in Take on Mars. The game's pack files contain all game data including scripts and models. Keep in mind that this only extracts the data and is not launchable. You can place any of this data into a mod or add-on. Two script files are of particular interest, script.c and ccgame.c. These two files are the core files loaded directly from the internal game engine. The first, script.c, is loaded on a game engine start, including when you start up Workbench and contains core functions and entity definitions via includes. The latter script, ccgame.c, is loaded when the game mechanics are initialized and contains extended entity functions and most importantly, the campaign, also by includes. Modifying these two scripts allows you to change the entire game if desired and can allow you to make a completely different type of game, be it real-time strategy or first-person shooter, making Take on Mars a truly sandbox platform to build upon. The proto.h script is also very important, containing script API function definitions from the engine. This is the first place to look when searching for all the functions that handle creating physics objects, dealing with them, and so on. In addition to this, the entities.xml file is used by the game editor in the Workbench editing suite to define the editable parameters of each entity type. This file is also loaded directly by the engine. Scripts for entities, the free fly camera and vehicle configs are all located within the script folder. For example, the entities.h file contains definitions of basic entities used by the game, such as the base game entity definition from which all Take on Mars entities are parented. So to speak, this folder is the real nuts and bolts of Take on Mars. Vehicle configs are located in the scripts, entities, configs, vehicles folder as text editable .cfg files. Vehicle controller scripts, which handle the functionality of each vehicle, are located in the scripts, entities, controllers folder as text editable .h files. The controller scripts contain practically all functionality of individual vehicles. The aforementioned configs define individual parts of the vehicle, what model to use, their toughness, joints that bind them together, and also which scripts to use. These scripts then make the vehicle what it is, so a six-wheeled rover is made to act as such using these control scripts. This also means you can make an airship, aeroplane, or rocket ship as you see fit. Next, strings are saved in an XML file for each language and are located in the scripts folder as strings underscore language dot XML. Please note though that right now only the English language is correctly used. You will also notice many other texts in the file dating back to when the engine was used for Carrier Command Guy mission. All Take on Mars texts have a prefix of com underscore. Models are stored as binarized .xob files in the obj folder, which are exported from the text-based .txo files. The Workbench editing suite features a model viewer to allow viewing both .txo and .xob files, and allows exporting from .txo to .xob. The import process from the .fbx format to the .txo format will be documented elsewhere, so for now, let us move on to sounds. Sound files may be stored as .wav or .ogg and are located in the sounds folder. Also note the .h text files directly in the sounds folder, which are the sound shader files. The shaders2.h file in this folder is loaded directly by the engine and contains includes for the other files in that folder. Configuring sounds may be done in a text editor or in the workbench editing suite using the sound editor. Settings will be covered in another chapter. Now we will look at textures and material definitions. Textures are stored as .tga and .dds files. Textures can be stored anywhere, but for organizational purposes, Take on Mars has them separated between GUI textures and model textures. Textures for models are usually stored in the same location as the .xob model file and are also usually stored as .dds to conserve disk space. Associated with model textures are also material definitions. Models do not directly link to a texture file, but rather a material definition, sometimes referred to as a material shader. These shaders work with several textures at once, including normal maps, environment maps, and so on, giving the artist maximum control over how his model is displayed in-game. Similar to the way sounds are loaded, materials have a core file, materials.h, in the materials folder, 
which is loaded directly by the engine, and other material files are included within. GUI textures, on the other hand, are stored in the GUI folder, and are usually stored as .tga files. The Textures folder contains textures that are either used for the terrain or for particle and post-process effects, such as the thermal vision color bars. Particle effects are stored as .ptc files in the particle folder and are not binarized, meaning they can be edited in a text editor if desired. That said, particles also have their own editor in the workbench editing suite. Graphical user interface GUI, data is stored in the GUI folder. Visual GUI layouts are stored as text editable .layout files and feature their own GUI layout editor in the workbench editing suite. Image sets used for icons and buttons are stored as .image set files with an associated .tga image file and also feature their own GUI image set editor in Workbench. Game fonts are stored in the GUI fonts folder as binarized .fnt files with an associated TGA or DDS image file. These are created using a font generator tool which will be covered elsewhere. Animations for vehicles, characters and cameras are stored in the ANM folder which also contains bone definitions. Animations themselves are stored as binarized .anm files, which are converted from non-binarized .txa files. Next, the Physics folder contains physics material definitions, which define friction and restitution for different material types. It also contains ragdoll skeleton setups. The Cutscenes folder contains cutscene files as .cut. Cutscenes support custom camera animations, character and vehicle animations, cute sounds and so on, all that a classic cutscene should support. In Take on Mars, this only really applies to the mission control room and the main menu, though in modifications you can do whatever you like. Next up, the world's pat folder contains object pattern brush dot pat files, which allow painting objects onto the terrain in Workbench. These are also created and edited using the game editor in the Workbench editing suite. Moving on, the worlds folder contains the actual location files as text readable dot ent files. These are edited in the game editor in the Workbench editing suite, and contain the world's rocks, terrain, grass, and so on. Objects specific to scenarios or the campaign are created in the in-game editor. In the worlds folder, you will also find the sky.xml file, which contains individual sky presets. These may be modified in the game editor in Workbench, and may also be cloned, copied, or renamed in the sky preset manager in the Workbench suite. Additionally, you will also find text editable .pla files in the worlds folder, which are planetary definition files used for the 3D map and mission control room and define the model to be used, the camera offset and so on. Some files are not stored in the game's packed files and are left unpacked directly in the game's Steam directory under Steam Location, Steam Apps, Common, Take on Mars. These are not packed due to an earlier technical limitation which has since been resolved and will likely be packed in the future. Here, you will find the game's scenario files in the scenarios folder. Each scenario is stored as a text editable .scn file with an associated .jpg file. The campaign subfolder contains the missions seen in the game's locations when playing the space program mode. Scenario files are searched for dynamically by the game's scripts, so a new scenario is located automatically by the game. Next, videos are stored as .wmv files in the videos folder, which is convenient as they may be viewed on a Windows PC outside the game as well. The config lists folder contains lists for objects, vehicles, and so on. Each list is stored as a text editable .cfg list file, which contains a path and name to each vehicle preset, object preset, and so on in the game. These lists are searched for dynamically by the game's scripts, so a new list is read automatically by the game. The worlds folder here contains text editable .lock files for each game location. These are definition files for each location and define where on the relevant planetary body the location is, the re-entry offset and velocity, the gravity of the location, the image to be used for the map, and so on. 